I think it might just be a button check here. No, I think it's uh, this is the real deal. Real oh, yeah, deal. They, are, they are playing. All right, they are getting into this right now. So, yeah, this is definitely an interesting matchup here, right? Because uh, Little Mac in general, we know that Little Mac struggles with a lot. But, um, oh, there we go. Look at the players and everything. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to production, man. Love you, man. We now can uh, explain and we now can talk. But let's see. Because right now, uh, Walt is trying to deliver a finishing blow right here. But uh, little by little, Fresh Panda is trying to fight back. And I love that. Because this is not a good match for, uh, I know I'm going to say that each time, but Mega Man can really zone out uh, Lil Mac, and so far she's keeping this very even. Uh, absolutely. I mean, the KO punch now on deck here too. The dash attack going to be coming through, throwing the saw blade that collide with the crash bomber. Okay, throwing the, uh, the, the KO punch, but got caught up with the, the leaf shield, and they're actually still going to be able to make it back. All right. Sure you can. That's what he said but not enough to, to take out Little Mac first talk. Let's see, the Fire Blade is not gonna hit. We have the Godsman throw going back into the fray. He has the blade, he uses it, she uses it, sorry. Sadly, is not able to confirm with Dash Attack yet. The, uh, the fast jabs are there to kill, oh my God. The Wild Slasher is gonna take the first stock. Whilst it's a little bit shaky here against Trash Panda. That was actually really smart too. As soon as they came down off the uh, Angel platform, they threw the Crash Bomber on them. So kind of like force them into position, but by the end of their invincibility, they've already got a hitbox ready to go act. Oh, the card no oh, no! no! Why would you do that? That was, that was nasty. That was cold. Cold-blooded right here, but let's see. Because we have to be winners of this to the end. Okay, great, neutral D, neutral B. Mm, going back into it, the hard knock is not gonna hit anything. Great job, great stop over here in defensive gameplay by Waltz, who is staying alive, keeping those three stocks for his team, and uh, not letting, uh, not letting Trash Panda get any kind of uh, hope to uh, reduce this advantage. Mm -hmm. And man, just gotta get down on the ground now. I mean, Trash Panda started off pretty hot too. It was just a matter of just kind of oh, getting no, 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 at that oh. one point. Oh boy, that's quite a bit of damage. 86% here. Yep, oh throwing out the God. down air. Unfortunate start there for Trash Panda. He got caught in a couple of very unfortunate situations. But you know what? They still played pretty well. But Walt starting off with a strong three stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Walt, uh, this this team team drip has a very uh, heavy hitter. A lot of mm -hmm. heavy hitters. And starting with Waltz is is not easy, man. Like, it's, it's a big statement starting with a character that is uh, not only a uh, in the hands of a very good strong player, but also has uh, a lot of tools to zone out, to control the space, and of course, to uh, edge guard Lil Mac in such a way, right? So we're mm. gonna see a lot of spikes here. Uh, I do hope that the League of, uh, su the Super League of Lil Max can uh, shake this uh, first yeah. defeat. Because we, we saw amazing stuff before, but it was uh, in part thanks to Trash Panda because she was able to take at least uh, three stocks the last time. Yeah, so I mean, it's just a, it, like it's said, a big deficit. It, it is a big deficit, but it is a bit unfortunate. We did see that second stock. It just kind of didn't react to. I think they mm -hmm. were probably trying to tech uh, when that first down air came out in that second stock, and, it, and they just end up pressing the A button or something like that. It, it happens to the best of us, and then unfortunately from there, you just have to play neutral against Mega Man when you're already at a deficit. It's, yeah, it's yeah, a tough yeah. scenario, man. That is one tough cookie to crack, but Waltz is ready to keep it going here. Uh, gonna be taking on Magic Trumpet Man coming up. Let's see what Magic uh, TMT, the Magic Trumpet Man, is able to do. Uh oh. Mega Hombre! You can hear it right there. <laughs> You sure he's not called a Mega Ombre? No, of course I'm, <laughs> I, I am. I am 100% sure. You know why he's not called like that? Because uh, in the in 80s and 90s, when Mega Man came for, uh, for the first time to the gaming platforms, uh, Me Mexico didn't have any kind of location teams for games. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. We, we, began uh, we began receiving uh, location, uh, specialized location teams for Latin America until Gears of War 3, I think. Okay. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> So uh, that's why we all, almost every kind of lingo is is shared between the two regions. But let's talk uh, about culture later because so far, Waltz is already dishing damage against Magic Trumpet Man. And there we go. We actually had that turnaround <laughs> dash canceled up tilt. That's covering quite a bit of space there. But Magic Trumpet Man does got a nice 60% on the board already. We're gonna get caught up by this Leaf Shield. Oh, indeed. Oh, indeed. wow. Indeed. Let's see. Because so far is Magic Trumpet Man who's getting the upper hand right here. He's able to get back to the stage. Okay, the forward tilt is not going to hand, but the backer with this wild flasher is going to do it. The leaf shield though is not a good hit. Another leaf shield though. The uh, 
the Mega Buster is there, but it's a good thing that uh, it's a very big uh, and, and powerful projectile, but it's not the strongest of smash attacks. Yeah, it definitely isn't. Um, I mean, if you throw it out correctly, it definitely helps out quite a bit. But either way, okay, the up Ooh. smash though, gonna be able to take that first stock, and man, Walt's already up four stocks to none. Oh, but the one-two is gonna come not enough. Those alloys are very heavy. Oh, Ooh. you're gonna get spiked by little Mac. Oh. I like that. I like the disrespectful shown right here by the little leak of Lil Max. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> it's always interesting when you see the Lil Max spike. And, I mean, that was just a situation. He probably could have recovered but just wasn't expecting it. That's why we saw the air dodge. But either way, right now, charging up that big punch just was not able to get the hit that they wanted through it. Okay, let's see. Uh, again, the leaf shield. It's such a good tool against Lil Mac. But right now, talking about tools, the, the KO punch is gone. And the forward there, the fire. Oh, he was going for the down smash. Very interesting option over there for the ledge trapping of the. Oh, that's so close. Whoa. Can you get the shield breaking? <laughs> that's the question. It is certainly the question. The shield should be relatively healthy now, though. But man, Walsh just continues to be an absolute menace here. Gets caught up by the up special. They'll find their way back down, no problem. Indeed. The Crash Bomber is not going to land on the right side of the stage. He's going to find the backer. Great stuff by Waltz. He's still rocking two stocks and taking so far five of the little max. Oh this my is God. a great, great uh, percentage for the Mega Ombre. Yeah, that was that was a lot of pressure That's going right. out there with the Leaf Shield too. My goodness, not going to find that back here. But man, Magic Trumpet Man is struggling all of a sudden. And again, okay, going to be able to armor right through that. Indeed. Let's see the leaf shield. Oh, the metal blade is going to get punished. Not enough to, to die. Nope. This is a very heavy robot, man. Yeah, this is kind of terrifying right now. I mean, you were able to get on the board here, which is great because, man, Walt's been getting away with too much. But, oh, that was such a rough position there. Now you got to deal with trying to find your way back on the stage. <laughs> I like the attempt from Waltz, but unfortunately, that just was not the right play. Super armor and the forward smashes are, are landing. Okay, another one. Do it again. Come on, I want to see it. Another one. Another, Another one. one. Sadly, they're not landing. He's sending them for sure. And uh, the neutral beat's going to hit. There's no way Magic Trump Man finds a way to win this, right? Because Waltz is like, has been so close to victory for a while now. And Magic Trump Man just battling like an absolute champion here. Oh, Ooh. my God. He's bringing the magic. He's bringing the magic. Oh, is this a doable? Is this it? Is this <laughs> it? It is possible. I have a dream. I have a pla I have a path. And the uh, Magic Trumpet Man is able to take Waltz out. Mega Ombre lost. Absolutely. But hey, that's five stocks on the board, though. Five stocks for Waltz ain't too bad. You definitely did your job there. You can't be feeling too bad. I mean, probably could have got six. Yeah, it, yeah, it, would, it would have been better, but the job is done. Like, uh, yeah. th that kind of advantage to start a crew battle, it's always welcome. So, great stuff by Waltz. Uh, sadly, here in the, in the even match, if this was the bracket, he's the one walking away. Mm-hmm. But uh, we're just going to be waiting to see who the Team Drip is going to be bringing up next here. I mean, again, a bunch of fantastic players here. Looks like going to be oh, sending oh, oh. underscore Trey Five. So, hey, listen, if you thought five mm. stocks was pretty good, this guy might be putting up uh, at least one more than that because that's going to be Steve oh taking on Lil Matt coming up here, man. Underscore Trey Five, no joke. Uh, definitely a strong player, and uh, <laughs> they're playing a, a strong character, that's for sure. Yeah, indeed. And, of course, I'm going to see the chat lose their mind because their favorite character is about to hop on the stream. <laughs> And I want to see the blocks. Oh. I want to see the blocks dropping on the chat. Because so far, we're going to see one of the most one-sided barrels in this game to be recorded. Yep. This is, uh, well, potentially, potentially. I mean, because that's one of the things uh, we kind of talked about with Little Mac earlier. Being one of the worst characters in the game, especially if you're going to specialize in that character, you got to learn how to play against uh, some of the best of the best here. So well, we'll see what happens. The what? The specialist? Is that what's coming up here? The special, okay. What's the special for today? Blocks. Steve! <laughs> diamond. diamond. Spiced with diamond. Oh, my mm. God. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a rough one, though. Because uh, here's okay, the thing. Okay, Lil, Lil Mac can do the... Um, he can. He, can just he has the speed yeah. to prevent uh, the resource uh, gathering. That's that's a good stuff. And he does have armor, the, you know, the contest with uh, the minecart if he decides to do that. With yeah. the heat in minecart. With yeah. the heat in minecart. The problem here is that if the command grab works, he's in a terrible spot because... <laughs> The hitboxes that will spike him are going to come out, and Lil Mac has no option outside of the stage. Yeah. As long as he's on problem. stage, he's yeah. great. As, but that's, let's that, be honest, that's the Lil Mac world. That's yeah, the yep. Lil Mac life. That is Lil Mac's life, yeah. He kind of put himself in that hole. But here we go, man. Steve on the deck right now. Steve on the stream. And Magic Turbo Man, you can tell, look, he's, he's, <laughs> he's seen uh, many of things. Yeah. 
He's what? He's not dripping. You don't think as there uh, is no enough drip in that match. You don't. You don't think underscore Trey Five is drippy right now? No. You don't like that? Can uh, the, the, you don't like that Kansas City jersey? Uh, the color is nice, but only the color. <laughs> All right. Mm -mm, uh, one, I'll give two. It Let's see, that's the problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was almost problem. it. That was almost it. Yeah, mm. definitely almost a tough spot here at Bay. We're going to oh, oh, from wait. coast to coast. Let's go. Oh, oh we okay. Come on. Yeah. Okay, okay. We're seeing some of that tech come out to play right now here. Technology being developed at our eyes. Let's see, okay. The, the Nary to forward. Oh, yet again. We're going to make it a double. You're going down and he's out. No, he's able to survive. Oh, I guess I, guess I am not the only one surprised by the kind of uh, tools that right now Magic from Perman is showing. Yeah, I mean, hey, but if he can find a way to take another stock right here, it's definitely doable. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the side B. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The up tilt. So far, MTM Magic Trumpet Man is doing fantastic. If he's able to take at least one stock, that would be fantastic for the little league of little Max. Mm -hmm. No, it's not working. Yeah, the forward B, it's going to be enough. Oh! <laughs> oh! The disrespect, that's it. Oh, my goodness. He's only got one stock here, and he gets to spike. We were talking about the Steve spike the whole time. Yeah, it doesn't got, matter. Yeah, we got the Acme Corporation, it the old, old style cartoons, just dropping it right on him. But, man. I got you with hey, the you can't be, He's having a good time up there, but, man. Yo, you got spiked by little Mac. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's that's what I like about the Little Mac team. Like they uh, are here. Oh yeah, they are here to disrespect everyone else. Absolutely, they, they get a lot of flack during oh, uh, every day, <laughs> <laughs> during every year. And uh, look at this, they are bringing the, the big guns because Peanut is coming up, trying to show that he has, he is the savior for this game. I mean, he, he he's going to show us Little Mac technology that will destroy Steve. I mean, he, he probably does have uh, quite a bit of experience, again, with uh, with Steve, because uh, coming from MDVA, one of the more happening regions, you know, lot, lots of pressure up there. Not lots of pressure, excuse me, lots of representation up there. Uh, honestly, pressure, too, when you're playing uh, Little Mac. Um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. But, again, Peanut has been on an absolute roll lately uh, in bracket as well. Actually, he's on top 64 winner side, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Le Leo was talking of him uh, <laughs> early in the morning. He yeah. was not happy. <laughs> uh, he, he really has some uh, words of praise towards Peanut. Yeah. So this is a this is an, a, a menace. Yeah. No. He, he that's actually the best way to describe him. Not just in game, but out of game too, man. Oh God. <laughs> he's such a goofball. I like him, dude. He's, he's a good guy. But either way, yeah, they definitely need to bring out the big guns here because they are quite a bit behind, and they need to find a way to kind of uh, catch up because it's not looking too good. Still, Magic Trumpet Man did um, a great a great work taking yeah. out that stock. Mm -hmm. That was big. So now uh, Peanut, of course, wearing that uh, peanut butter collar, is going to do his best to take out one of the most uh, – one of the biggest threats of mm -hmm. the opponent team. Yeah. So we'll definitely see how this plays out. But, hey, you know, underscore Trey 5 also doing a pretty solid job of, uh, you know, just trying to get into the swing of things here. But there we go. Get that stock out of the way. Starting off on Hollow Bastion. We're going to start here. Both of them taunting to get things started. Let's see how this plays out, man. It is 11 to 9. So it's not the worst case scenario here. If, uh, if Peter can find a way to take these two stocks out losing one, I mean, they're right back in the game pretty well. Yeah, and that would be big, but that's the problem yet again. The command grab is going to work, and the card is the tool of your demise. Steve is here to take out Peanut in a terrible way, and the stair is going to stop the run mm -hmm. from the man that comes from the Bronx. Yep. Mm. Oh, wow. It's kind of slapping him in the head with that sword there. Get him off stage, and there we go. We got the up tilt, putting down the damage. Tried to find a way to get that forward air. Not going to find it. Yeah, indeed. Let's see. Back here are coming out. Oh. No problem. Okay, the one, two, three, only two hits there. But look at this. The uh, little by little Trey is trying to do <laughs> something. Oh, my God. He armored through that, too. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. But we're going to get rid of that KO punch. Great grab. And oh, sending him way off stage. He's not going to oh. be able to find his way back. Yes, he will. No, I'm not going to fall for that cheap trick, sadly. The spike. The, sorry. The, the, oh, the oh. pick is going to hit on the lava, too. And yet again, building that house. A uh, low convenient architecture over there, but very uh, helpful against Little Mac. The ambulance is not going to hit. There are no resources anymore. Trey has spent all of his metal. So right now is the chance for Peanut to take at least one stack. Yep. Okay. Just oh. <laughs> Served himself up on a platter for that up smash. Beautifully played so far. And now we got, you know, Peanut on the board here with two socks, but you got a little, actually one sock, excuse me. And he's got to take out one more here because, man, his team is certainly struggling at the moment. But Trey Five doing a great job. There's a KO punch. Can he land it? 
Can he do it? That will be... Oh, there it is! There it is! You made a mistake! And he says, no, you're not going to do it. Yeah. And he knows, too. He, he knows that he should have got caught up by something there. But, you know, Trey 5 definitely kind of uh, pulling the trigger a little early there. I don't blame him because, you know, when you're in shield, you, you know, you expect to try to get that punish there yeah, with the yeah, up yeah. smash. So, honestly, not a bad play, but Peanut coming out here, taking those two stocks, trying to keep his team involved here, but also losing two stocks in the process, man. Trey 5, man, he's good. He's good. No, he, he's, uh, he, he was helpful to maintain the advantage, the, the lead of the Drip team, uh, Team Drip. Yeah. But let's see who is coming next because uh, this, uh, as, as we were telling, man, these are, these are heavy heroes team. This is, oh, yeah. They are here to get the title. Absolutely, absolutely, man. And uh, but I mean that's the thing is like underscore Trey Five. He uh, he understood the assignment. But I believe this is uh, Oryx coming up next. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, <laughs> Peanut kind of throwing uh, throwing up his Metify right there. By the way, speaking of which, if you are uh, looking for some Metify lessons, you can learn from the best Little Mac in the world. Uh, or if you just want to you know play a few games with him. But hey, he's definitely a good guy. You'll have a good time. That's for sure. If you want to learn uh, about footsies, about oh uh, yeah, the neutral spacing, yeah, he's very oh. good for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that, that is one thing you really got to do very well with Lil Mac. And actually, Lil Mac does that very well. So, yeah, man, uh, that's a really good point because I can tell you straight up, there's a lot of people in this game that don't understand neutral oh, at, yeah. at, a, at a higher level. Uh, or actually, even at a mid-level. Let's be real here. <laughs> but if you want to learn neutral, which honestly is still one of the more uh, important parts of the game, that is one player to learn it from. Understand the game. Beat the game. Mm -hmm. That's what you have to do. And, of course, thank you very much for Metafy to helping us, giving the right tools for making that happen. So far, we are waiting for these two killers to come up and deliver the kind of spectacle that we are ex uh, looking forward. But man, I, I would love to see Peanut rolling more of this crew battle. Uh, the League of Little Max have been fantastic. They already won once in stream, and uh, they want to keep that uh, rolling. And it's only one player who is separating them from victory. Yep. Yeah, that is that is absolute facts right now. But um. Uh, who is it? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Oryx. I don't know who Oryx plays. Uh, is it Oryx? Hang on, I want to make sure I got the right name here. Hmm. Is Oryx or Drex? Drex? It's not Drex. Okay. It is Oryx. Okay, I was right. I don't know why I doubted myself for a second. But yeah, we'll see how this... Uh... Ooh, someone's uh, Someone's got some drift going on right now. Yeah, there's a little bit of a... Okay. Okay. Disconnect your okay. controllers, it, it looked people. Like, it looked like someone was ready. Someone was ready to disconnect their controllers. All right, so we are on the board there. Unless Please, they're not. People, don't don't be that guy. Each time you go up and you are using a wireless controller, be a gentleman and disconnect your controller. Please. Absolutely, man. Or a lady. Or a lady. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you're basically you're playing with a pro controller, do do your job. All right, do your thing. Do this right for all of us. It's part At of home. It's part of the grind. Exactly. Mm. It's part of the grind. It's also part of the rise. You like that? Rise and grind. Yeah, <laughs> people was were uh, people were not rising and grinding tonight today. Yeah. Like people, uh, they, they, uh, there was a lot of uh, players here today, but uh, there were there are no morning people. That's for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I heard. Uh, what is it? Uh, Goblin got here before a lot of other people. <laughs> I wanted to. I <laughs> rise to grind, and there is no grinding There's here. No what grind. the hell? Hey, I told you, man. Ultimate players don't grind this game. They don't practice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Millie Boys. The Millie Boys are the ones that the that the, the, the grind never ends. Yep, that is It's 5 a.m. they are playing. It's <laughs> 3 p.m. they are playing. And the thing is, they know so much about the game already, but they're still practicing, man. Yeah, man it's it's that, that's what Melee is all about. I'm not here to actually trash on Ultimate. I love this game. A lot of people do practice this, but we are going to get in here now. We got Oryx playing the Peach. This is a little bit No, character. no, no, no. The Daisy. It's the superior spree. Excuse me. The more annoying one. No. He's Hi, I'm Daisy. Yeah, she, she's, she's educated now. She, she's annoying. Yeah, she, she is here to say her name and to make a statement and um, being the right wife for this game. Mm. So let's go. Oh, oh I so stitched already. I told you. This might be bad news for Pina. I'm going to be real here. Mm. Oh, 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 my God. Oh. oh. What are you doing to this man? Vitamins are bad for little Maxi. That's why he didn't grow. <laughs> he took 80% to get started here. Yeah, what the heck? That's not what you need, but that's oh. the proof that she is the superior option for the character pick uh, selection, but let's see, okay. The KO punch is an option right here. One hit will uh, take that away. Away from him, oh, he tried it. Wow, yeah, he you know what? It. I don't blame him, man. You gotta be trying to take these stocks, but Oryx putting the pressure down. Okay, barely gonna grab that ledge though. Peanut staying alive and trying to live longer. Mm. Let's see, and the side B is right there. Coming back into the stage, the forward smash is not gonna hit, but she's going to take it, no. 
good DI over here by Oryx, trying to stay alive. But the landing catches from Peanut are fantastic, and he says, I don't care about that stitch face. I'm still going to fight. I am for the Bronx, and this place is now for me, the little, uh, the Peanut, uh, sorry, for me, the, the Ninja Turtles and the Pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> You're all over the place on that one. <laughs> But either way, though, we got Peanut. Okay, that's definitely going to take that stock. But, hey, you got to hand it to Peanut, though. Fighting back after the 80% taking yeah, yeah, the yeah. stock. Never Woo. surrender. Never surrender. You're mm. absolutely right. But um, that's certainly a tough one, though. Uh, you did take a stock. So, hey, you definitely did your job here. You took your three stocks. Uh, you, you took you, out uh, the Steve. Yep, because it was two stocks off the Steve, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, and then it was uh, the one stock here. So, hey. So that's that's – even game. Even game. Hey, listen, you did your job. It's up to the top to your crew to kind of close it out there. Everybody here's got to go positive. You can't just go even now. So, but uh, we'll see, man. Hey, honestly, just great stuff from um, from Oryx though too. I mean, that was getting a getting a stitch face to start off. And uh, capitalizing because how many stitch face have you seen on uh, being uh, disposed of it, not being yeah. used, being disappointingly misused? But here Oryx said, "No, I'm going to the. Oh, I have this in my hands. Oh, I'm going to go wild." And it was like what three hits for eighty percent, like four hits. Like, what the heck? Hmm. What the heck? Either way, though, great stuff from Oryx going to be able to close that one out, putting their team a little bit closer to victory. We are going to see our next player coming up here. It's going to be Salt King. So, uh, I mean, hey, it's going to be more Little Mac, that's for sure. Who is, by the way, wearing more drip than the guy from the drip team. Just want to Just make that statement. him out, man. I, I told you I was going to have uh, the role of the fashion police in this match. <laughs> you uh, did say that. You I said that a, earlier. I am a man of my word. You are. You are. Absolutely. Who is ripping more? Like, for sure. Tell me that. I mean, if you look at the Team Drip, like, he's got literally the Drip design on the Team Drip logo. Okay, you're right, but <laughs> you can write something and not make that true. And my my friend over here, uh, Salt King, is, of course, wearing the Cookie Monster uh, cap. And uh, that's you're, ripping. You're a big fan of that cap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a Cookie Monster. <laughs> that looks like a fuzzy hat, too. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's cool, man. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it's pretty comfy. Yeah, and, and it's perfectly coordinated with colors, yeah. yeah actually, yeah, that is facts. That, that, so but this man, the, the only thing that uh, gets points from him is that the mask is not blue, which would, ha would have been on point. Yeah, but it is, I mean, it being black, though, oh, there's just a little bit of red in there, so it does throw a little bit of a awkwardness into the color here. But there we go, we're going to get started here in just a moment. Orex, already lost one sock, switching over to Peach this time. I don't know why, man. Technically... This is not the same character. If you actually look at the difference between Peach and Daisy, there's like two pixels wider on the Hurt Box because of the way that they stand. That's it. That's literally it, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't know why uh, the change of heart, but it doesn't matter because right now Oryx is trying to play his game and already delivering a lot of damage. Over here with 400%, okay. The throw is going to be converted. Yeah, the backer. La Razón Poderosa, as we call it in Mexico, is going to hit. And, okay, great stuff. Oh, the up smash. I like white. Salt King is trying to bring into the match another one, another one. Do those up tilts. It's one of the best tools that Lil Mac has. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's also just one of the, some of the best tilts in the game, too. Let's be real here. But we got Oryx, forward air, putting him off stage to turn up. Okay, still going to find a way to recover, though. Oh, no, that's not a good counter. You definitely got to be careful of those counter moves, too. Yeah, you're completely right. Okay, the crown is not going to work. But also, uh, Lil Mac can be weak against Toad, by the way. Mm -hmm. So Toad can deliver a lot of damage to Lil Mac. So that's a tool that maybe Oryx can start applying. But the counter yet again is going to work for the Salt King. And he is uh, really trying to deliver this uh, Salt's way of life in order to take out some stocks. Oh, the, wow. That was so close. The tournament was close, but not close enough. Yeah, that was definitely a little bit scary, but okay. Oh, yeah, that was a little bit terrifying. He let that rip a little bit earlier. That's a stock in his favor. But either way, man, Oryx getting on the board first here. 97%, though. This could be disappearing very soon. Okay, was trying for the uh, the combo opener. The down tilt is not going to work. Let's see. The foots is there again from the League of Little Max has been on point today. Oh, the parasol is going to bring her back into the stage. Again, those hips. Hips don't lie, and it's a starting combo. And also, a way to come back safely into the stage. The problem is that if Oryx gets hit by one of those uh, Little Mac uh, punches, she most likely is going to lose that stock. The forward tilt is not going to be enough. I am lying. I'm lying. <laughs> Whoa, that was actually crazy. The side beat into the down smash. I mean, we didn't see the punish, but still, being able to armor through that, definitely a nice little recognition there. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's trying to find a way to close out the stock and save the KO punch for the final one. Oh, indeed. Ooh. I don't I don't care for your veggies, lady. And he caught the turn up, too, in the process. Okay, there goes the KO punch. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Oh. 
that's such uh, it's, a, it's such a depressing situation. It's man. a great sound though. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it's like a perfect like like a perfect uh, disrespectful move. Okay, look at this imagination coming from the combos. The up the uppers are, are landing, and in the center of the stage right now, South King is trying to find an option. One, two, three with the gentleman, but he's unable to follow, and that's gonna be it. He's able to come back. That was a big mistake from Rx. Oh, oh, whiffing the KO punch. For it. Yeah, I know you really don't want that, but armoring through that, this could be huge. Oh, tried to go for the read uh -oh. onto the platform, does get the counter. This could be bad news for Oryx here. Does he find a way to close out one more stock for his team? Or does Salt King close this one out, bring mm. this ever closer? Oh, what are you doing here, Mr. Saturn? Are you here to break some shields? Oh, if that happens, man. If that happens right here, okay. Wong. It's going to hit, but not break anything. And in the backer, yeah, La Razón Poderosa is going to take the stop. Oh, man, I was expecting Wang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, but you know what? That was actually a, a kind of terrifying game. You look, you can see, you can see Oryx. He's sweating a little bit there. He's a, he's a little nervous. Yeah, yeah, but I don't blame him, man. I mean, these Little Macs, they mean business. I, if, if I was there, I, I, if there is a character I hate to play Little Mac. Yeah. You've, each time you fight him, maybe with, uh, I play Roy, so it's a... Uh, it's a very fiery face-to-face -face match. Yeah. <laughs> and in some ways, he's way better than Roy in, in, in the ground game, right? Yes. He, he's a uh, little Mac in the round. His uh, frame data is fantastic. Oh, yeah. He's super strong. He can he's make got, this. this he's, uh, he's got the armor, too, in a lot of The armor, the yep. hit into the roll dance that can really push him forward. So I always get super, super scared when I play against him. Oh, yeah. And I know I'm not the only one. It's one of those characters that you know you don't want to play uh, lose against because mm -hmm. people is going to cheat about I it. I mean, that, but that's also part of it, though. Like, once mm -hmm. you actually get into the game, you're like, oh, God, I hope I don't uh, lose. And you're already at a disadvantage to it, right? I mean, okay, that's one of those things. That he's a character that you have to respect, mm -hmm. even though he's considered bad by, you know, so many terms. Yeah, I, I, I hope they gave them... Uh, that the tool that uh, if you get hit, you can use side B again. Yeah. That was needed. Uh, it will not like bro break him in any way, but sadly, it never arrived. But I'm here hoping that someday this game will be patched again. I know it won't happen. But yeah, it's not going to happen. Hopes, <laughs> hopes never die, man. Hey, hey listen. Oh, he's back into the right option. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if, uh, if, if they somehow find a way oh. to get past him. That's not correct. What are you doing? No, come on. He can't. He can't do it. He was one of the best little Max uh, in the last crew battle. Okay, okay. Lanix, okay. come on. Okay. Whew. I thought we were gonna have uh, have an issue on our hands. I was about to go up there and uh, turn the switch off. I'm doing this for the stars and the stripes, man. Yeah. The all American <laughs> little Mac is here to defend the team. Let's hope uh, we can see more of this of this crew battle. Yeah, I'm wondering if uh, if Oryx does find a way to take all three stocks off Linky for life, if they'll uh, they'll switch back to Peach for the next game. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. But either way, going to get these stocks out of here, taking their sweet time, floating away to their demise. Well, here that's we go. <coughs> She's charming, man. Why, why do you hate her? I don't hate her. <laughs> you hate her because she has so much personality. I don't hate her, but Daisy fans are, are you know, they're, they're weird. <laughs> But either way, though, oh, oh, uh, ooh, mm. little Matt going to take a little bit of damage there. Yep, the down throw into the back here. That is the Peach and Daisy special. Wearing the black the black gloves to hide the stains. Let's see. Mm. Going back into it. Oh, the, the, the hips don't lie yet again. And so far, Oryx is doing fantastic. Oh, oh sadly, the, the, H, the, the KO punch is unable to land. And that's going to be an upgrade snipe with the, mm -mm, with the turnips. The small eyes was there, and that's also very dangerous, but it doesn't matter. The OB is going to land from Lanky. Let's see. Last time that we saw Lanky play, he was delivering a very good rhythm, but right now, Oryx has been able to cool that down. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a matter of trying to get back down to the stage. Okay, they do find an opening. Only getting a little bit of percentage, though. Lanky for life, dude. He is definitely trying to find a way to get started here. Okay, the trade there. Oh, no, this is a big punish coming up. Oh, the dash attack. No follow-up still. He is winning each and one of these interactions. What it's Lanky Life for life, sorry, is going to do right now. A little bit of a turn. We have action. The speed, the approach, but it doesn't matter. Great combo here. 82% and the KO punch is locked and loaded. Mm, look at these guns, he said. <laughs> yeah, the uppercut coming out. But you know what? This is uh, going to be a super tough spot here for Lanky the rest of the way, right? They he, have two stocks left. He has been a little mag that has delivered one uh, KO punch each, each time he's on stream. Mm -hmm. Like, that's consistency. That's the kind of Absolutely. consistency I like to see. Yep. But uh, this is going to be the tough one, man, because you got Lanky coming up. You got the captain for Team Drip coming up here. 
with uh with Ronnie. Ronnie Chu coming up, man. This is gonna be tough, right? Oh, because not only the snake player. Oh yeah. Man. So like not only does does Lanky have the tall task of having to go through six stocks coming up here, right? Against two. You gotta do it against a snake first. Uh -huh. And that's already gonna drain you as it is, because like they if they get through him, uh actually I don't know what Z three plays. I forget what the Z three plays, but either way, you gotta get through a snake here. Look at look at Lanky's eyes, man. You can tell he's like, oh no. Oh no. No, a snake. <laughs> and now let me tell you something. This man, he's ripping. Now shout out. Shout out to this man because he is holding the drip of his team up. This is a good look at that. This is a good look. All over the full, mm. full fix. Look, he's he got, has he's the hair. Mm -hmm. He has the fantastic accessories. He has uh, the jersey. It's working. And man. the mask too? Yeah, the mask too. Yeah, the, it's yeah. Everything is working. Everything's working there. This man. was designed by a character designer. I think he's got like combat boots on or something like that too. I'm not sure if he's wearing those today, but no, uh, Ronnie, Ronnie is a, a man of drip. Like if you ever see uh, see him post any like selfies on Twitter or something like that, he's usually wearing something pretty nice. So definitely got to give him uh, a big old shout out, a true represent representative of uh, Team Drip for sure. Yeah, shout absolutely. out to that. You have to believe in the uh, in the core values of your team. Exactly, exactly. Mm. What are the core values of Team Drip? If, hey, listen, if you're in the chat right now, you know the core values of Team Drip for some reason. Go ahead and put them down. Even if you want to make them up, go ahead and make up a couple core values. I want to read. I want to read your creativity chat, but be <laughs> respectful. Be respectful. I don't want to go to your house and kick your ass. Be <laughs> respectful. <laughs> Mm. All right, well, I mean, we already know it's going to be picked here for Lanky because he's already locked into a little Mac as it is. There is no change. But we are going to see this snake come out here, man. He is ready to rock. And uh, I don't know, man. This this might not be good. <laughs> this might be over pretty quick. Let's see, let's see. Because the grenades are in hand and they are going to be exploding. One stuck. Oh, Ronnie Chu, what are you going to do? Let's see, the towns are in, and finally the grenade comes out frame one, and it doesn't matter to Lankil a lot for life, because he is trying to deliver a statement, a statement of that speed and violence is gonna be the way to get the victory in this battle. Mm -hmm. And the crazy thing is, is he's actually hit two Little Mac back airs all day today. How often do you see a Little Mac back air? At Never. all, ever. He's landed Never. two of them. This guy's top notch. This guy's next level. This oh. guy's getting beat up by Snake. <laughs> that, was, that was a pretty sexy, pretty sexy uh, conversion. I'm not gonna lie. From uh, from Ronnie Chu. Let's see. Setting up the traps, placing every single kind of explosive over here. Oh, the man of the Bronx yet again. That conversion with the upper. Very good stuff. And Snake had something in those calves, man. Those are big, muscular calves, <laughs> perfectly sculpted from this man that really can deliver some damage. This man's all about the CQC. He does not care about boxing too much because he can beat you with anything on his body. <laughs> He's just ready to for a fight, man. That's what he does. Uh-oh. Okay, T was going for the meat cleaver right there, trying to find a way to close that out. It's a tough spot here. The Nikita, oh this might God, be no, it. No, not like this. No. Yeah, I think that's it, man. I think we're all done here. Yeah. Oh, that was not needed at all. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but, hey, you know what? That's two up, two down for Ronnie. Unnecessary Team drip. Roughness. Yeah, unnecessary <laughs> roughness, 15-yard penalty. But that's going to be uh, it. Do you know, do you know the signs for that stuff? No, I don't know about that. Is it the one that is 